Saturday morning and I have just whipped myself up um, a coffee shake. I only had a little bit of ice though, so I just put coffee, uh, man shake, um, the hazelnut Makona coffee, and just a little bit of ice and water. Mm. Certainly does um, taste different when it's blended, but it's good. Um, I'm foregoing the um, the plunger coffee this morning because it's 10 o'clock already. I only just got out of bed not long ago. Um, had a pretty decent sleep in. And uh, yeah, today is going to just be mainly a day at home, kind of doing some uh, stuff around the house, like household chores and that. I actually do need to make a trip to the butcher but um, to grab a couple things. But first, I need. we're waiting on our Woolies delivery. They said they'll be here um, like before nine and it's now 10 o'clock. <laughs> so um, yeah, we get, our, we get our shopping delivered to us at the present moment. So, so yeah, thank you to everyone who um, tuned into the live stream last night where um, I was giving my live reactions to the football. Had a lot of fun with that. Um, disappointing result. I, I honestly am really disappointed and surprised that Parramatta lost. Um, because usually we've had the Dragons number of recent, so how they overturned Reed Marnie's try, I have no idea. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to go over that again. Um, it was a lot of fun. There was a you know a good bit of banter from um, Sharks fans in there. Um, Etswa was laying into me all game. So um, uh, if you're watching this, mate, <laughs> good on you, bro. Um, please stop on by again because that was a lot of fun. Um, I was saying last night um, I was thinking about doing a live stream for the. Storm and Eels game, but that is going to have to be like like an absolute, I don't know. I don't think that will happen actually now that I'm thinking about it because um, Angela is going in for surgery on Wednesday and she'll be coming back from uh, from surgery at home on Thursday. So, um, yeah, it's, she's in recovery, so I don't know whether that's going to be able to be a thing. Uh, I'm still going to try to make videos, uh, obviously, every day. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, it's just medical things at the present moment. Like uh, I mentioned in the live stream last night, um, yesterday being Friday, um, I had to stop work uh, like maybe an hour, hour and a half into my day um, and go pick up my daughter from school because she had a rash on her face. Now, uh, what had happened is that um, in the three of the four days that she was there that week, she came home with face paint, like big lots of face paint. Like one day she was Batgirl, um, when there was another one and uh, mo most recently she was a pink rainbow unicorn so she came back with all this stuff on her face so um, then I did my live stream what was it Thursday night um, you know and she cleaned her off and put her to bed and everything next morning she still had like a bit of pink around here I thought oh it's just left over paint got her ready for school I took her to school and then an hour later hour and a hour and a half later we get a call saying that She's breaking out in hives, she's scratching at it, and she's telling us it's itchy. So it was a rash. So I was like, oh, geez, you know, I'm going to have to take her to the doctor. So we took her to the doctor. The doctor said, just give her some Claritin, some antihistamine, and uh, yeah, she'll be sweet. So dad was on daddy daycare yesterday, you know, just uh, watching movies, playing games, and all that. Um, Wreck It Ralph, fantastic movies. Had a lot of fun watching those. Um, it's probably like the seventh time I've watched them. Um, Zootopia, also a good movie. Love it. Um, that's probably the 12th viewing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. But uh, So she's um, she still has the whole thing going on at the moment. And um, uh, I'll show you what... This is what uh, we look like at the doctor's office. Yeah, so just at the doctor's office, this little one has had an allergic reaction to um, face paint. Ah, open the nose. You want to say hello to everyone out there? Hello. Hello. So the best part is, is that she's not in pain. She's, you know, just doing her thing. She's, you know, she just looks really puffy um, over the eyes. So uh, we're going to see whether we can get some antihistamine cream or whether there's any sort of topical stuff that we can put on there. You know, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to keep you updated as the day goes on. I'm going to finish this bad boy off. A little frappuccino. I hate it when you, you you go to make a shake and you've run out of ice. Like if you want to actually use the blender, like I don't use the blender every day, but um, I was wanting to use it and um, 
yeah, I only had like <laughs> probably about four or five ice cubes, so not a lot of fun. Oh, um, shout out, Stephen Singh. Stephen Singh, if you do watch this, my man, I saw an update from you this morning saying that you have lost 60 kilos since January. Ladies and gentlemen, that is six zero, not 16, not some number like, you know, five. It is 60. Mate, you're absolutely killing it. Mate, he's gone from like 147, I think it was, 148 to 80, 88 or something. It's it's absolutely crazy. So um, uh, if you want to see a little bit about Stephen's story, I did a fat chat. I'll put the link here. Uh, check it out. Uh, but uh, here, yeah, congratulations, mate. You, you're absolutely killing it. I I hope to catch up to you. I'll, I'll get there one day. Those double digits, they're so elusive. But uh, mate, you're looking trim. Good job. And I love the Dragon Ball Z socks. Ladies and gentlemen, I am at Ground Zero here. Um, it is uh, Penrith Westfield. Uh, anyone that keeps up with the current COVID thing, you'll know that there was a case of it here maybe about a week or two ago. Uh, I am donning the mask. I've got the hand sanitizer, boom, right here. Uh, I need to get some stuff. I need to uh, get some butchery stuff uh, and I need to stop by Big W, grab a couple things for my little one. But uh, yeah, donning the mask today, so should everyone else. But the only concerning thing is, I'm not seeing masks on anyone in the car park. Oh well, <sighs> let's get to it. All right, so far so good. I'm just uh, getting some uh, stacking baskets for my little one's cubby house and uh, some more clothes because she's growing up so freaking fast uh, but yeah there are some people wearing masks but not heaps it's a bit depressing anyway let's keep going I've waited all my life for this oh my god there's Super Mario Lego what you full build a course and it makes noises and everything. That's outstanding. I just had a realization that there is a very real opportunity that my daughter will play the recorder in a few years time. No, why do they do this to us? Just demolished a kombucha, beautiful. I tell you what, I feel like such a man walking around with this. I'm such a manly man. All right, so I survived Penrith Westfield. Um, it was good. Uh, I'm back now. It was nice to get the mask off because, like, you know, you, you wear it for long enough. And I was there for a few hours. Um, it's now 2.20. I've done 6,500 steps. So I was <clears throat> getting my paces. I walked from one side of the mall to the other because I had to grab some stuff. Um... But I kind of went on a bit of a splurge for my little one. Um, I, I felt so bad because she's had such a bad reaction to this thing. And she's been really good lately. Um, and we're trying to encourage good behavior. Not through bribes and not through, you know, you know, spoiling her. But I'm her dad. And if I want to get her a present, I'm going to get her a present. And, um, yeah, I, I splurged a little bit. Got her a spirit, um, like, horse set. Because she's crazy about horses. She loves the TV show Spirit. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to see her smile. And that's, the like, you know, the things that make my day. And, uh, you know, um, you know I could we could afford it. You know, so I thought, you know, well, I'm going to, you know, you spoil her just a little bit. Just a little bit. We don't tend to always go to buy her toys and that. Um, uh, but, you know, occasionally you just feel the need to. You know, she's been good lately. Um, but yeah, gonna get inside and uh, yeah, just see how all this goes down. Well, it looks like I'm gonna get some more steps in because her pajamas that I bought her have this. God damn it! Go all the way back to the shops to get them to take off a security tag. I do have a magnet, but I thought I could use to you know get it off, but apparently it's not strong enough. You need a super strong magnet. And my magnet ain't strong enough. It's not strong enough to take off a tag strong enough. 
<laughs> off we go. Got to get off the phone. Anyway, that was a really annoying adventure. I had to go all the way back to the shops just to get the security tag taken off, of which it didn't beep. Like, so I walked straight out and it didn't even set off the alarm. So that is a bit frustrating. But I was in and out. I'm back here. Uh, the toy went down an absolute treat. Alyssa is loving it. She uh, has been neighing like a horse and, you know, just playing with it. And it's just absolutely made my day. Like, little things like that just make me happy that she's so happy. She was so thankful. And she came run, running up, giving me big cuddles and kisses. And, yeah, it, it was a good experience. So I'm, I, I don't regret that at all. Uh, tonight is celebration meal. I'm going to get some KFC. Um, everyone keeps saying to me, oh, why don't you have something else for KFC? But I want it. That's what I want. It tastes good, and I know what I'm getting. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, there's going to be no regrets, so I'm going to have that. Uh, Angela has made up some uh, peanut butter rice crispy slices. Uh, I did a cook video of that like you know a couple months ago. It's fantastic stuff and good for like not good for you, but it's a healthy snack. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's about it for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing my live stream where you can uh, stop on by, a bit of real talk about weight loss and a bit of a Q&A. Ask me anything that you like. That's going to be at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and join that Fat Guy Army if you want to. Anyway, I love you all. There's absolutely nothing that you can do about it.